All right. Not a whole lot of treasure in this place. A lot of fights, though. Hey, we got a level up. Uh, what were you doing? 20? Yeah. Yeah. There's a skelly man right here. Bloodstone C. Now lies in a column. So S for single, C for column. There's an R for row. If I remember right. No level ups this time. It's okay. Do we want to go upstairs first, or do we want to continue? Hmm. Maybe continue? Yeah, I need a shortcut key for the pause video. I haven't done that yet. We're gonna go up top first. I don't have to click out and click on pause. I don't know if they have a shortcut for it, though. I would think that they do. Next fight, we'll have some A level up. Oops. Eh, we'll just leave it on quick. Air blast. Ow. Now that's the first time that thing's hit me with that. Hey, low lumps. Hey, doing agility to thirty. That a skeleton? No. Dang it. This is gonna hurt. Oh, he belly bumped me. and heal. He was gonna belly bump me again. Yeah, Jake. I should probably heal. <laughs> Obviously not in battle, but, you know. If we had somebody who could cast healing, that would be nice. A white mage of sorts. Oh boy, we found where we're supposed to go. Okay, so this all seems suspicious, right? I can't shake the feeling that a place like this must have some kind of Hold you so. Heads up, get ready for the worst. He looks 
fiery. I saw the doorway there and I was like, hey, secret click. And, uh. Boss fight, I guess? What's it say? Weak to water? Oh. Who'd have thought? The big fire monster's weak to water. So we can use water arrow, but we're gonna use our special. And I uh, goofed it up. And then we'll use our special. And I goofed that up too. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, you bitch. Don't be healing. Alright, I'm just a smack him. Actually. I mean, it's kind of a physical attack. There we go. Nice. Enough, Lazarus says. Hey, I almost had it beaten. Be gone. I could have beat it. I was close. So you finally come. What the hell was that? That thing is my guardian. You're a guardian of hellfire. I'm sorry for the hostility. I put it here just as a precaution. You. You! You're the one I've been looking for all these years. You're Lazarus, indeed. The beast of the old world is this old man. He's a drinker. Dragon's blood flows through his veins. He is a beast more powerful than any other force on Lagrad. Yet he chooses to cower in this tomb. Tomb? Interesting choice of words, my dear. Still, you're my guests now. Let's talk in a more comfortable place. Please follow me. I mean, we still got experience in all the level ups. The world needs you, Lazarus, now more than ever. You don't have to live in exile anymore. My exile is not completely voluntary. Voluntary, my dear Arya. What? How do you know my name? I've lived long enough to, all, to know almost everything. Now, will you tell me who sent you here? I thought you knew everything! <laughs> Came here of my own accord. Oh, you found me on your own, did you? Large blessing must be upon you. I appreciate your blessings, but more importantly, with you on our side, we can win the war. Ah, beverage. I'm far too old to fight. Can't you see I'm all rusted up? You might be old, but you're a dringer. You're stronger than any of us. Not anymore. I'm afraid I'm not long for this world, my dear. Was this all for naught? Far from it. I have a duty I must lay upon you. A duty you must fulfill to prevent the second rain. Prevent it? The war's already raging in the north, and soon it will engulf all of Lagrad. Prophecy has led you here. 
And this means that you are destined not only to change the present, but also prevent what has yet to pass, my dear. I really don't understand what you're saying. You've come to find me just as it was written in the prophecy of the flame, have you not? Yes. But what do you mean by what has yet to pass? We're already in the middle of our great war. There's little time left. What you must do now is gather the armaments of Liar. Armaments? What armaments? There's a little time. Listen carefully to what I have to say, my dear. I will impart to you the true verses. Okay. And you must take... Make haste! With them you can stop any war. Will these verses really help us at all? It will suffice for now. You have to understand what the prophecy is truly saying. The flame will end the second rain. That's what I was looking for. That's why I was looking for you. You're the firebringer of Lagrad, are you not? I was the firebringer. But that was a long time ago. I destroyed many civilizations in my youth. And well, this is what I have remained here for hundreds of years, attempting to redeem my sins by shouldering the burden of the true verses. Now, I'm afraid I must pass the torch on to you. No, you must help me end the... Mugna feud. People are killing each other for for some reason they don't even remember. Hmm. So familiar. The war described the prophecy is not this. The war described in the prophecy is not this war. The war of the prophecy is an invasion that will leave Lagrad engulfed in destruction and utter, utterly lifeless. Even if there was going to be another war, we won't know if it will come to pass. All I know is our people are dying right now every single day. And yet death and horror caused by this feud is nothing compared to what is to come. Nothing. I've seen too much death and horror already. Far too much. And your people will have to endure even more if you allow the fire bogs to invade. Bogs? The fur, fur bulgs, fur bulgs, not fire. The demons of the old world, they were expelled by the her heroes of Lyre. Yet they're still trying to find a way back to our land. The armaments of Lyre are the weapons of those very heroes, the weapons they used to banish the fur bulgs from our realm. You must obtain the armaments to prevent fur bulgs from ever returning. But... What about... This isn't what I was expecting at all! Trust me, my dear, you must gather the armaments. There's no other way. Okay. Let's just say I'm willing to do what you ask. Where would I find these armaments? Listen closely, my dear Arya. The armaments of Lyra are hidden within the four cardinal trees. The balancing forces of Lagrad. The Dalthy tree of the south is the one you should go to first. The Dark Prince has already chosen his protege. Make haste! You must not let him obtain the armament before you. Otherwise, the protege will use the armament to open the portal to the fur bulgs from our side. Once the fur bulgs have conquered our realm, there's nothing which can end their reign. This is just too much to take in all at once. You must understand, my enemies are not waiting for me to come back. They are on the battlefield right now, facing our comrades, killing them as we speak. But without the armaments, stopping the Magna feud won't be possible, will it? Please, Fen, not right now. I'm trying to think. There's nothing to think about, my dear. You are indeed one of the prophesied fate-bound. What is this now? A fate-bound? Me? The fate bound are those who will seek to extract the armaments and protect them from falling into the hands of the Dark Prince's protege. It is in the hands of these unfortunate souls that Lagrad's Lagrand's future lies. I don't understand. You must stop the protege. You must prevent the invasion. You haven't said anything about how I'm supposed to stop the Magna feud. 
I need to defeat our current enemy before I can start worrying about some future foe. Have a little faith. You will find the answer to end all conflicts once you have gathered the armaments. Let's say I do this. What do I need to do to prevent the invasion? There is a mentor waiting for you. You must meet her for she is to guide you throughout your duty. This is even more complicated than I thought. I came here to find a way to end the Magna feud. But now you're asking me to prevent an invasion from another world. See what I meant by the, uh, the text repeats itself a lot? Uh, it's very wordy. Uh, there's a reason why the prophesied saviors are called the fate bound. You're stronger. You are stronger than you think. Liar has chosen you. So I expect great things from you. For only the flame and the fate bound can end this chaos. The flame? Yes, my dear Arya. Please, you have to tell me more. What is the flame? The last verse of the prophecy. The flame will prevent the second reign. Prevent, not end. But you must remember that there is only so much a prophecy can do. The rest is entirely upon you. I'm not sure I'm up to the task, but I'll do my best. Ah, there's one more thing. Lazarus whispers something to Arya. I, I don't understand. The spellbearer will. The spellbearer? Your mentor. She will be waiting for you in Phineas near the Dalthy tree. She bears the spell to extract the armaments from the trees. She will be very difficult to persuade. She's over a hundred years old. A hundred year old witch? Wow. Indeed. She's a very tough <laughs> She's a very tough lady and not very trusting. But those words will make her believe in you. Do you promise that this will put an end to the war? I promise that this is the only way to bring priests to Lagrad. As I said before, have a little faith, Arya. Thanks, Lazarus. No, Lagrad will thank you! For bearing such a burden. Now I have fulfilled my duty. We should part ways. What? You're going to leave us just like that? But I have so many questions. Your questions will be answered throughout your journey. Don't worry. Please, you have to go. Let me take you to the entrance. No, I have to go back in there and find all the stuff. Uh, I'm grateful that you have come to lift the burden from my shoulders. Farewell, dear Arya. Farewell, Lazarus. I've got more questions than answers, but maybe faith is what I really need. Ah, oh, he was the bird the whole time. Miss Arya, what just happened? Lazarus imparted the true verses to us, so his purpose in this world has ended. And that light that flew into the sky? That was the Eye of Lyre, a symbol of the afterlife. I've read about it. It means Lazarus has departed. Still, seeing the eye, it was beautiful. He passed away. He departed to a higher place. He's a force ghost! Said he destroyed old... He destroyed civilizations back in the old world. It might seem like he did, but truth is, he's the hero of ancient times. Everything he did, he did to prevent wars and protect the future. Our very existence is the legacy he left behind. I don't like the idea that our world is on the brink of extinction. I just got here. <laughs> I don't like it any more than you do, apparently. But I have to stop it from happening. But we still don't know whether it's going to happen or not. And yet it might. I have a duty to fulfill now. So what are you going to do, Miss Arya? I don't appear to have a choice, do I? Lazarus seemed to be adamant about it. After I find the spellbearer, I'll find the other fate bound. Like Lazarus said, this is a burden I must bear. Meanwhile, back at the wrench. Tell me, brother. Why are we still fighting this war? Oh, he's got an eye patch. He's a cool guy. Because we have to spread our influence throughout the south. No, brother. That's not why we're fighting for glory. That's recent enough. But going on the offensive against Fandor never used to be our way. Never used to be, but it is now. So we're abandoning our defensive stance. 
Being defenses has led us nowhere. Now we're bringing glory to Altia. With each victory, we're performing feats of valor that our father could only have dreamt of. Father would have disapproved of our actions. Dead men can't disapprove of anything. But what about our brother? Please. He was a foolish idealist. More of a nuisance than anything. You speak too highly of him, brother. He played a key role in the army, that's all. Keeping our alliance safe is far more important than hanging on to a man whose beliefs could have destroyed it. What are you talking about? we They have the same color hair as the main character. Suspicious. We've signed a treaty. And if we take prisoners for them, they will send us help. Send us the help we so desperately need. His foolish idealism, his insistence on sowing fear by slaughtering everyone we were using as leverage, it was just unacceptable. He almost made us cross swords with our own ally. But they don't even... But they won't even send us reinforcements until we take back the pass. We need their food and supplies, and they need human slaves. It's perfect trade, if I do say so myself. What their supplies, our troops' morale will be bolstered. So we have to take back the pass. I see you're finally listening. Assemble the captains. Let Altian banners fly atop the mountains. This time we take the mountain pass for good. And remember to take as many prisoners as possible. Uh, Miss Arya? Can you take me to Shapud now? Of course, the promise is a promise. Follow me into the southeast. No! Go back. There's so much we still have to do in here. Because <laughs> I goobered. Now, do you think it'll take a whole video? Or should I just pause? I'm just going to pause. Alright. Let's see what's this way. Wow. I'm glad I didn't heal. I thought about healing. Apparently that's a quick way back to the beginning. We've leveled up a few times. <laughs> we got like, we got two level ups off the boss fight. Um, this is kind of where we're stats are sitting right now. Since we had the four points from the boss fight, I just went ahead and pumped that up to 20. And then we'll start getting that to 30, and then we'll get that to 15. So. Good stuff. Alright. I'm gonna run to the end here, see if I missed any. Okay. So we're back here. I'm actually going to heal, quick. Ah, uh, I was hoping he wouldn't turn around. Should, yeah, I was going to say, that should interrupt him. There's a skelly, bro. Oh, that's a row stone. Is that all that's up here? I guess so. That was what we missed. We missed the shortcut back and the row stone. Now. Oh, apparently this is a safe place to save. So is this... Don't mind me and my mountains of skulls over here. I don't see anything shiny, so... It's kind of disappointing. Also, how is there a sky when we're in the desert? 
Nothing. No secrets. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Alright, well, when we get back, I guess we're looking for Eris. Well, hopefully we find her. <laughs>